It is time now for the singles America loves to hate. You may remember that explosive and very public breakup on <laughs> The Bachelor last season between Jake Pavelka and Deanna Girardi. Well, I they were reunited last week on the new series Bachelor Pad, and you can sense another blow up on the way. GMA special contributor Cameron Matheson had a chance to get all three sides of the story from Jake Vienna and Bachelor Pad host Chris Harrison. And Cameron joins us now from L.A. Good morning, Cam. Morning, George. It's true, I spent several hours at the Bachelor Pad yesterday trying to figure out what is behind all of the drama. Well, I can tell you, after spending some time there, the heated showdown between Jake and Vienna shows no signs of cooling off. Here's a sneak peek at some of the fireworks you can expect tonight on Bachelor Pad. This is maybe harder than I thought. Hang on tight. Jake and Vienna's emotional roller coaster continues tonight on Bachelor Pad. The things that he's done to me are unforgivable. Vienna has been campaigning to get me off all week. It seems like you've got like a real kind of goal in mind to, to get Jake off the show. Um, the reason I really wanted Jake off the show was that my boyfriend is in this house and I'm in this house. Your boyfriend's Casey? Yeah, my boyfriend's Casey Kale from Alley Season of The Bachelorette. He was the guy known for the tattoo that he, he got. So it's just a very awkward situation. And, and not only that, but strategy. Jake's a good competitor. He won the first challenge. Vienna and Casey eliminated. Oh, Jake, oh, Jackie, you oh. win. You gotta look at it as a game also. There's a good reason to have him off the show. On Bachelor Pad, 18 contestants who have already appeared on previous Bachelor and Bachelorette episodes are living together in one house. This is a tough group. Sometimes the, the inmates uh, get out of control. Performing stunts <laughs> and plotting scenarios to eliminate each other so that in the end, only one couple will remain, winning a quarter of a million dollars. I'm not here for $250,000. I came back because I knew Vienna was going to be on here, and it was going to be an opportunity for me to uh, get on here and get some closure. After falling in love last year on The Bachelor, Vienna, will you marry me? Yes, yes, sir. They broke up and broke down. We're the biggest fake liar I've ever met in my entire life. Well, you're busy having flings with other men. I'm not having flings with other men. Our relationship was born on TV. Our relationship died on TV. You don't know me, and I wouldn't have done it. And if you... If I don't know you, then Please why? stop interrupting me. <laughs> we both looked like fools, you know, in front of America. You're the biggest person I've ever met in my life. I regret doing that. You know, that's some of this, that's it's kind of shameful. Last week, Jake apologized to Vienna for his past behavior. Vienna, I'm sorry that I raised my voice to you on TV. I'm so sorry that I did that. I didn't mean it. You don't talk to people like that, that you, <clears throat> that you love. He apologized to you in last week's episode. Is there any part of you that wants to apologize for your part in the dysfunction that you guys had for closure? Um, honestly, I accepted Jake's apology. People need to really start focusing on the present and getting into the, get your heads into the game. That was a hit. One of the stunts tonight requires the guys to throw paint-filled eggs at one woman they each consider least attractive. Are some of the challenges on Bachelor Pad just flat out cruel? Yes, very cruel because it's hurtful. It's very, very hurtful. Who are you least attracted to? That's a point, head back inside. That was a hit. You call a girl ugly or something, she's gonna start crying. To have the guys here say that they're not attracted to me, it just hurts. One of Jake's strategies last week was to give Vienna a rose to protect her from elimination. It was an olive branch. You know, let's let's find some common ground here. Let's, let's call a truce. Did it mean something to you that he was trying to reach out in that way? No, I just felt like it was, I, th I feel like reaching out on Bachelor Pad of all shows was just kind of inappropriate, to be honest. No matter what happens on Bachelor Pad, you know, I, in my heart, won. And I have closure, and that's why I was here. Vienna did tell me that she and her boyfriend Casey just celebrated six months together and they moved in together, so congratulations for that. And if viewers notice that Vienna looks a little bit different these days, it's because she got a slight nose job. She told me that she did it for herself. She's hated her nose since childhood, and now she looks in the mirror and she feels a little bit more beautiful. Now, Cam, the camera does not George. lie. We actually saw people throwing paint-filled eggs at the, those they considered the least attractive. 
Uh, that is exactly right. And what we saw there is the women throwing them at, at the, uh, excuse me, the men throwing them at the women, but it kind of went both ways in tonight's episode. And there's some real emotion coming out. I mean, it is, it's pretty harsh, I have to admit. I would say pretty brutal. Okay. You should have heard much. the reaction in the studio <laughs> when you talk about I, Yeah, oh, I bet. I bet. Is, that's just, no. 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 It's wrong. That's just wrong. Now the crew's weighing in too. Well, we got a lot of boats here this morning. The reaction from everybody. That's just. Mm. Mm. Okay, well, all of you can tune in tonight at 8, 7 Central, then decide. Vote for yourself.